Hello everybody, let's not mention that anymore, Skuro. Um, welcome to CCL Season 50. We have the second round match, an unbelievable match between Elyod and his Chorths and Chunter and his Skaven. In the booth with me is Skuro Metzo. Hello! Hello everyone and especially hello to everyone in... <laughs> Costa Rica, that's right, the Central American country whose capital is San Jose. They are the 122nd-th ranked population in the world, and their favorite flower is the Guaria Morada, and the national ditch is the Gallo Pinto. Oh, baby, this game's going out to Costa Rica, and how we doing here tonight for an epic match up between Elliot 2, not to be confused with Elliot 1, and Chunter Skaven versus Chorfs, the matchup of teams no one ever likes to have to play against. <laughs> yes! <laughs> ah, that, that is an amazing intro, thank you so much, Skuro. Incredible stuff, and yeah, that it sums it up, doesn't it? Nobody wants to play against Elliot, nobody wants to play against Chunter, nobody wants to play against Chorfs, and nobody wants to play against Rats. Two great t coaches, great teams. Uh, wow, look at that, instant Kaz. Not what Elliot was looking for. Uses his apple instantly. Turn one versus a full claw pommer. That is an a dirty so player. That is sad times. Wow. You're about to go on a holiday, and you and like you can't even fucking qualify. The, so this team. is a oh, funny. Uh, Side play more fucking sorry, rats. Sorry, there's a exclamation point rats going on. <laughs> um, this is a funny Skaven team, isn't it? The, the the gutter runners aren't that good. Normally, like, it's the gutter runners that are the strength of the team, isn't it? And he's got two good gutter runners, but he's only got two good ones. And then he has two really good storm vermin. So it's a bit different from your, your normal Skaven team. I don't think there'll be any inducements. No, no inducements. It's a, it's a fair game. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since I've seen a Skaven team quote-unquote deep in the playoffs and uh, they didn't have a natural one-turner. Yeah. Yeah, that is. It is not to say, not to say that Skaven need the natural one turn or two advance. It's a great team, and obviously Chunter, very experienced with this team, plays them the way he plays them. But uh, you know, you put that natural one turn on there, and it's just a completely different beast to have to face in a knockout game. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're incredible. Uh, I mean, hey, that's deep by Jimmy's standards, Famir. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's not true, by the way. <laughs> I've done two inches great. deep. Oh, baby. this is this is lovely. This is a lovely blitz here from Chunter to get the additional hit. Lovely. Um, I've I've done quite well in Chalice despite qualifying with a variety of shit teams over the years. <laughs> we both got there in the end, Famir. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a great hit. And now, then he gets to claw mighty him and gang foul him. So he, you've got to say a bit of mistake by uh, by Elliot allowing this, right? Like it wasn't a great spot by Chunter, you know. Like he, he obviously yeah. he was going to do this, but like, and he can just retreat the ball, right? Just retreat. he doesn't care about backfield pressure. He's going to put all the assists on here. No, he's not actually well. I think he should, I think he could have done. <laughs> I mean, losing a bull, been. losing a bull on turn two is not quite GG for coaches of this uh, capacity, but it's damn close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He could even just assist with a ball as well. Ooh. That is so that. Mm, yeah, I guess that holds off these guys. But he doesn't break armor because he didn't get the extra assist in. <laughs> and if he had just assisted with these two, he wow. would have got the AV break. Jeff. I, it, to be fair, it protected it protected his strength four as well. Actually, yeah. protecting his strength four probably just as important as protecting the ball, <laughs> if not more <laughs> important. <laughs> Absolutely. So there you go. Huge, huge result there. Hello, Puppet Justice. Rough luck. Yeah, that was, it was, uh, that was a rough game, wasn't it? But I mean, that's goblins, isn't it? They're pretty, they're pretty dicey. Sagittarius eating his own words there. <laughs> yep, that was not enough assists. Not enough assists. Um, there you go. Oh, he did roll injury. Oh God, I saw the four. Honestly, I literally I saw the four, and thought he didn't. And thought he didn't break. Yep. But yeah, he did roll the five, so he did break armor, but rolled the four. I, I literally just saw the I four. Barely he barely broke, broke it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
I was paying attention. I was just, I was just. Uh, I was you just couldn't mistaken. handle his full attention, full force. <laughs> So this is uh, so this is this is pretty good, right? This this was actually pretty good from Chunter because he did protect the strength four, and it only cost him one assist, and he was able to get the ball forward. So this was this probably was better than one more assist and keeping the ball back. Um, Ooh, quick reroll there on the failed GFI at the end instant. of the turn. It's claw bomb well, on claw bomb, isn't it? It's claw bomb on claw bomb. You got You got to get this hit as, as Elliot. He gets he gets the uh, he gets the AV Brit, which is crucial for like fouling him next turn, isn't it? You've called my bluff, Fall Force. No one wants to pay attention to you. Hey! <laughs> oh, split the winnings! Oh, the old the old poker chop, lovely. <laughs> he does, doesn't he, Ducky? He does do that. I would have actually had a kebab last night as well. Well, now Fall Force is going to send you one tonight instead when you don't want one. Yeah, that's literally no. what he said. He said when he gets paid, he'll send me one. I'm like, I won't want one then, <laughs> Fall Force. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't want one for another six months. But uh... <laughs> Yeah, the, it was the talk of the chilli sauce was that was what got me as well. <laughs> <laughs> the talk about the chilli sauce really, really nailed it. <laughs> See, this is looking pretty bad for Elliot, isn't it? Like, Apple mm -hmm. burned. Uh, maybe the it bullet doesn't look like he's going him. to, but he could have gotten another big gang foul on that bull, too. Mm, it's tricky, though, right, with this other bull coming around the side. Like, so you've got to yeah. move the ball away. You've got to move the gutter away, and then once you move the gutter away, you've got to move some semblance of the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That gutter could have run back to avoid the bull, maybe. Could have done, But maybe yeah. you don't want to go back now. Oh, there we go. Max Power, the, the ultimate player for Chunter, the incredible juggernaut, everything. He's yep. gone for the half. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? Claw Mighty getting lucky with Claw Mighty. Like, uh, obviously, Claw Pom is where the power is, but Claw Mighty doesn't have to get very lucky to be very good, does it? So, a bit of luck there is, uh, is bad times for young Elliot. Well, this is a big punch. I'm not sure this was a good idea. Paid off. I mean, not yet. It hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if the gutter dies, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the big one, isn't it? I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know which one's gonna foul or either. Like this, I would have definitely blocked without block and ran this gutter the fuck away. <laughs> yeah, that's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't worked yet, Malalanese. It has not worked yet. It is way too soon to say it's worked yet, because. Because this, this, we've got to see what happens with this blitz before we can say if it was. A, if it was his if only it was true work. competent gutter. Yeah, yeah, he did want the assist for this for the pull foul. Yeah. Oh, so he is getting the foul in. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Not really paying off for him though. There's no guard for Elliot here. He can just put the. He can just put. I believe he can punch him. You could have literally like just put that guy. There and then Elliot would have done a blockless block to even get an assist. <laughs> but there you go and nails him. Ooh. Kills him. Oh, oh. dear. <laughs> oh. Apple works, so it was it was a good uh, block from the from the gutter runner. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a it was an okay block. We'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. That's scary. This is a, this is a fighty game for uh, Skaven on Chorms. Yeah, well, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing with Chunter's yeah. team. Like he's got the he's yeah. got the two uh, the two Storm Vermin, a deep bench, and and, a, and two dirty players. So it's a very fighty rat team. Yeah. He is a big very DP though now well. with the, with the with the apple freshly gone. Doesn't break AV. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Elliot's just trying to survive now, isn't he? He's, he's down so many players. It's this is like this is the thing about rats, isn't it? Like with a team like this, it's just disgusting. They, they, a lot of the time, they don't need good good gut runners when they just massacre you. 
Yeah, that's wild, isn't it? Good news for everybody else in the cup, right? <laughs> Turn three, yep. both apple guns. <laughs> both apples gone. Oh no, Elliot's got got. Oh, Elliot had an extra apple. Elliot, El, there was an inducement. Elliot had an extra apple. Yeah. Zero defense against the ball <laughs> here. I guess there was never really a chance to. No, he's he's got to think about this ball a little bit, right? So he's got to have a he's yep. got to have something in case Elliot comes back with the ball. And also, he can he can use this to screen his better players, which is what he's done. <laughs> That's pretty good. And then just get away he's from going. the draw, Palmer. I thought he was going for the surf. <laughs> no, it's good to be able to blitz out with frenzy, wasn't it? That was really yep. nice. Save himself the dodge. Simple, simple red die that never, never fails for you. Never fails for Chunter. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm letting that really nice slide, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I didn't even realize. <laughs> it's as natural as breathing for you, isn't it? It really is, yeah. <laughs> Man, this is tough, isn't it? Because if you go after the ball, he's going to claw might you. Whereas yeah. if if you stay up here, you can surf the dirty player and and maybe you know corral these guys and not let them hit you, and then maybe eventually you can claw upon the storm vermin or foul his storm vermin, foul his one turning chance. Like it seems pretty good, and Elliot does like giving up drives, so I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> to see him not go back. But he is going back. He is going back. He's trying to stop. Wow. Is that, uh, is that Chunter's only dirty player on the team, or does he have he's one on the bench? Two. Yeah. He's got two. He's got yeah. two? Yeah. yeah. I, if it was the only one, I'd say that was probably worth the surf. Oh, he is getting the surf. Oh, no, he's not. Yeah. Move the camera. Um, it probably would have been worth worth surfing him, but his bench is so big, it's just like it's basically like not going to grind him down that quickly. <laughs> no, I, I think this is... Mis it's funny as well from Elliot, right? Because Elliot does like lying down more than most mm -hmm. and giving up on drives more than most. And I think this is a great opportunity to give up on the drive. You know, you, you're getting you're getting to dirty player foul his Storm Vermin almost certainly. You're getting to surface dirty player almost certainly. And and you get to uh, probably claw palm his gutter as well. You know, like this this could have been really, really good. Like just hammering these three players. I'm... I'm, I would be all in for hammering these three instead of these four getting battered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is probably what's going to happen. But maybe, sure maybe seems, you can pressure the score. Sure seems like we're about to lose a bull here. Doesn't it just, yeah. yeah. And a hobgoblin. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't get it, so, you know. Maybe it was the right player from, from Elliot, but... Because I guess if Elliot gets himself a two or three turn chance, he can score. The problem is, of course, against Rats, you can get yourself a three turn chance and three turn chance, and then get turned over and scored on. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even more reason to give up the score, to give up the score against Skaven. <laughs> He's not going to go in. But you never know, like that. Elliot might have a chat with the. Uh, might have a chance with it. I mean, this is uh, this is pretty bad now for Chunder, isn't it? Where does he go there? Yeah, he goes there, and I guess it's good enough. But he's still going to have to. He's still going to make this dodge. No, he's got to make this dodge, hasn't he? There's no way he can protect it. If he fails this dodge, it's just two dice in the ball. Elliot, he doesn't. Chunder doesn't fail three pluses, so it's all right. That was a. Uh, that was very dodgy. Shouldn't he using the reroll there? Like I get that he's your claw pommer, but he's completely irrelevant. And now you've only got one reroll. And Elliot had already forced you into a one in nine that would have lost you the game if you'd failed. Potentially. Elliot's lack of uh, rowdiness last turn being punished because he didn't make that hit and now he's been... See, he, he could have dominated these three players and instead he's had his guy, his dirty player cast. But he could have done that one to himself, Elliot. 
there's no reason for him not to. DP Hobb was not was not. But then but then that reroll let him make that one D which got a Kaz, so it was a great reroll. But um Yeah, interesting. Oh, gets the armor break. Gets the removal. Flip me. Oh, baby. Flip me. No, babe, right? Just the uh, just the extra apple. Extra apple, yeah. Yeah. Base oh, wait, that's not... Yeah, that's the Elliot has it anyway, so yeah, never mind. Yeah. Elliot's based the ball. Well, G fucking G. That's <laughs> tackle too. It's double. It's double based as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you can GFI with a claw pommer to get him in touching. This, th I mean, this good. again. This is this could set up the scenario you're talking about. Early score, but then, you know, you almost kind of favor rats. On, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when when the two teams are when when the chorts are rushing to score, it almost feels like a fifty fifty at best that the rats are just going to score again. Yeah, it's. It's not cut and dried, is it? It's definitely not over. Don't say it's no. over. <laughs> lots of lots of things can happen now. It's, I, I'm sure Elliot isn't feeling good about it. You know, he's lost an apple. His claw pommer's down. His dirty player's being banged out. Like it's going pretty bad for Elliot. But um, you know, at least Chunter's apple's gone, so things can turn around. Double LOS to come. At least. So I think he has to score now with that blitz, doesn't he? He's going to hand off and level his new gutter. No, he's not! Oh, what? Wow. That's surely incorrect. Uh, yeah, I, I, why Why would he put him there? Oh, I guess if he fails the dodge, yeah. 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 Like he's Still. 97 SPPs. Yeah. You, you gotta hand off there. You gotta hand off. Yeah, if you're, make, yeah, if you're making the 2 plus anyway. Yeah, you, you can't have your Raj 5 die on a handoff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Very. Yeah. Maybe he just brain farted. Like you put him in position there. Obviously, if he, you know, there's the the very tiny chance of the bobble box. But like, yeah. maybe he did that and was like handoff, and then he just clicked into the end zone. Yeah, or <laughs> a bit like my spike. Maybe <laughs> he did the same thing. <laughs> my accidental pass. Maybe he did an accidental score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, great point by Mordred. If if he does, in the worst case scenario, if he does fail, even if the bobble gets caught, that, that gutter doesn't have uh, sidesteps, so it's off the board, too. Yeah. Sorry, the pitch, too. The pitch. What did you say? Board. Board, oh, yeah, no, it's not the board, it's a pitch. It's very uh, no. real. Very real. It's real to me, damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's why the coaches, the people who play and the weird are thing coaches. Is, the weird thing is I do say player, not piece. Yeah. I, but I call it a board, not a pitch. Yeah. Get off my pitch, prick. That was, that was my line, wasn't it? So, yeah, I guess I do say pitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, do you know what I ended up? I ended up winning in fantasy football, by the way. Um, so I'm 9-1 and one now. Whoa. No. Not me. <laughs> Not me at all. I lost. I didn't even cross 100 points this week. Uh, but in fairness to me, I had to start Colt McCoy because Kyler Murray was out for the game. And then he was, play he was playing against, um, um, what's his name, uh, Ma Matthew Stafford, who was my backup quarterback, who was also out for the game. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
I didn't really have a starting quarterback, and I had four Q's and O's on my uh, starting roster. Oh, right. Well, fun, fun it's you been should, a disaster. Funny you should say about starting quarterbacks. I was up against uh, Miss Rogue Merck, who Joe Burrow was on his bye week, but do you know who the backup quarterback was? Justin uh, Fields. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fair like, enough. What, what the fuck? <laughs> So, that, yeah. That's like that's like last week when I started the Patriots D for the first time against Indy, and they put up forty five points in my league, and <laughs> it was the only oh, the only player to cross twenty points on my entire roster, and I ended up winning. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so that, that's but, a big. Oh, sorry, carry on. I'm no, no, I'm, I'm not talking about the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that could be really big right this rock like even though it's just a stun like you know that can set up a foul on him or like take him out of position and everything so like he's got to be very wary here uh, Elliot about getting counter scored you know like that really opens him up doesn't it for the counter score he's piled on as well so he's piled he's been stunned I wouldn't have piled there I think I think I don't know I'd like to think that I wouldn't have piled but um, you know with that because this is looking very like this is looking Again, as you exactly as you said, more likely Chunter scores. Yeah. Than than Elliot right now. No protection on that ball either while he's no. rolling these dice. No. And he can I... definitely get a gutter around if he wants to. Yeah, I think he shouldn't have piled. But uh, very unlucky for Elliot not to get that guy back. To be fair. Yeah. And of course, Elliot, uh, of course, Chunter got his guy back. He's got. No, as around. I was gonna say before the analysis, uh, in happier news in the fantasy world, <laughs> I have pulled into first place in Flicky's fantasy soccer league, which means it is called soccer until I'm dethroned, uh, and it just so happens I did it just in time for the World Cup delay, so guaranteed oh, to be the longest reigning first place <laughs> champion in that league until late December. <laughs> Amazing. So it's soccer. It's soccer for the whole World Cup, England. Suck it. <laughs> it's amazing. Also, I root for England in the World Cup, so, uh, you know, suck me too, I guess. Wait. <laughs> oh, oh, I said that wrong, but you get what I mean. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know what would be really good? Is if uh, is if Erling Haaland did, like, a Team Wales and just, <laughs> just played for anybody he felt like. <laughs> you know, it's really... The fantasy, I don't know if all the fantasy soccer leagues are like this, but the one Flicky's running, it seems so stupid because literally like 80% of the rosters in the league are identical. It's just like yeah. who gets lucky on the one or two other players that they have and start. Like literally no one in the league should not have Erling ha Haaland starting except for that one week where he was out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I always wanted to do American football, fan, f American fantasy football, because it is so different, isn't it, with everyone having yeah. like, only one player? Like, that's like, so cool. A lot of le a lot of fantasy football leagues are pretty shitty too, but just because people don't know how to set scoring properly and like dumb shit abounds because of that. But if you're in a league with people who know what they're doing, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine because Jim's in charge of uh, Jim's in first place, so it can be hand egg if he wants it to be hand egg. That is a fair trade for uh, all of you uh, British people to have to call uh, soccer, soccer. The thing is, I mean, I like NFL. I tend to call it NFL. I can't call it football. I can call it American football. I can't call it football. I, not seriously. I can say, like, football! <laughs> <laughs> but um, I can't actually call it, call it football. I mean, this is tricky, isn't it? How the hell does Elliot get in here? I just don't see how he breaks through. Mm, well, I do. You stand him up. You block there. Break tackle, blitz there. A power move. <laughs> I mean, it's just so hard, isn't it? And then what? you have a potato that gets nailed and then Chunter scores on you. So, Chunter has to get, like, the rookie. Yeah, get the rookie forward. Oh, no. Oh no, no Chunter! Wow. Well, so there you go. I hate this from Chunter. I literally hate that from Chunter. I think this rookie has to has to go into the backfield, right? Like how with without him there, how the hell does Elliot score? You know. Mm -hmm. 
and and so now so now Elliot puts everything into like any kind of idiot potato, any kind of base, any you can do anything he wants to try and score. Whereas if if Elliot just has a rookie a rookie cutter here or whatever, then uh, you know it's it's fucking horrible for Elliot because he's just got to turtle and and defend the ball like that's all he can do is just try and turtle. He can't even try and break through. Yeah, I think it's a mistake. I think it's a mistake, but you know, Chunt has played a lot of rats and I haven't, so maybe it wasn't. Just my opinion. And now you're still not trying to score. Well, no, it might be. He might be. Yeah, if he. Yeah, so there you go. So he, now he can do. Now he can get this that hit. So rather than this hit, which had to be a Kaz, basically, yep. he can he gets a claw palm hit. And if this is a pow now. There is a route through, and then he, the bull can come with him, or he can hand off to the bull. Maybe hand off to the bull, and then screen and have the bull screened by two hobgoblins. Needs the pow here. Yeah, he rolls it for the pow. Correct. Got it. Mm, it's the Kaz as well. So yeah, it's so totally the question right is, how, how are you handing off to this bull? He's in a tackle zone. Well, you you just you move the ball first. Yeah, he's got, you, he's got break you're, tackle. You're break tackling up and and then handing it off to him. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, I guess it's but yeah, I guess better in his hands in that case. But a little scary. Yeah, it is. But yeah, with no scoring threat. Yeah, he's going to do not? it. Like he can, he can double yeah. GFI with the hobgoblin, yeah. or he can hand off yeah. to the ball. He can he can do whatever he yeah. wants. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing is like even if he doesn't like like he'll have multiple scoring threats, so he'll have a chance no matter what. Mm. Well, not no matter what, but most <laughs> likely gonna have a chance. Yeah. But all he had to do is just put a gutter, you know, what three squares in, and yeah, yeah, like this gutter, like he's not he he, he wasn't gonna like Elliot wasn't gonna. Like run up here or anything, you know. And if he did, he could have put, you know, he could have dealt with him anyway. Like I just think this guy should have been, even here, right? He could have even been basing the bull. Yeah, yeah. All right, he's got dodge and bludge and break tackle, but still, uh, he he could have just been, yeah, just in range. All right, so he's uh he's keeping the ball on him. Did did he do the two GFIs probably? So yes, he he's, he's got. Uh, he, I think he only did one GFI, uh -huh. but he's got almost a full cage. I mean, pretty good cage here. So. Really nice, isn't it? Yeah, really. Yeah. really no, not, that wasn't Chunt device. I know. This is really no, nice I know. Thing. I know. I got you. Yeah, this is really nice, but um, <laughs> and yeah, you know, like maybe he makes the exact same play if you've got the if you've got the gutter here, but. He's a lot less fucking happy about doing it if you do. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> and now even if you do sack him, so what? You've just stopped the score. Whereas if you sacked him, uh... yeah, this is re this is really good from Elliot. Really nice, like re really good, really good turn from Elliot. Which you know isn't a surprise, is it? But there you go. Is he just gonna blitz through the ball, the bull, and uh, base up the ball and make him roll the dice? He could do, couldn't he? Because he can get the two gutters in behind. Yeah. And this yeah. way you get the claw might your bull, which is good. EB yeah. for the rest of the match anyway. Looks like that's what's happening. Yep, just mm. the push. Reroll into a push. Mm. Not gonna help him a ton. No. No, that was that was that was a super good turn from Elliot. To be fair, so again that that good uh, like you know maybe it should maybe it could have come over here right because like you know that maybe it's the good because it's moved nine isn't it <laughs> and it, it was like here or something I think it was about here and it went to there so it could have definitely come over here you know uh, maybe 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 it could have done that if it wasn't going to get in scoring range. What the fuck, the boomer. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it, I guess, but good lord, man. <laughs> oh, this is uh, this, this might be enough, though. Yes, this it might, might be, be yeah. enough. Yeah, this is very tricky. I guess you 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 dodge, blitz, pow, and then dodge, right? Like, so it's, yeah. As long as you pow this, got a. 
you dodge, you've got to reroll for the power, and then you've got to dodge. This is actually, this shouldn't be enough. I don't yeah. know how it could have been enough. I mean, this is super simple, right? Like, even without thinking, you just dodge blitz and then yeah. power and score. Like, if you power with his blitz, he can't he can't stop you. He has tackle, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got tackle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah then, then definitely worth it. Yeah, like, he can't, he can't sidestep to a, a square that gets in your way. You and he actually, te yeah, he does have a square of lateral movement too, right? The hob. Yeah. He, he doesn't does. even need it though, because he, he can't. He can't side. If you blitz from here, you can't. You can't yeah. sidestep anywhere that stops you just yeah, moving yeah, the ball yeah. and then dodging out. And there might even be a better play than that, like with chaining and stuff or whatever. Like I don't know, but um, that's the like completely brainless play, isn't it? It's just dodge with mm -hmm. blitz, get a pow, and then three, three, two to win. There's no yep. diamond tackle or anything. 3 2, not 3 2 2. There's only one GFI left. But, and, you, and you've got a power first. <laughs> Fucking hell, find me. <laughs> uh, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty telling, though, that in the, the UK, the emergency call here would be people who are willing to help. Versus in the US, it's people who are willing to shoot you and put you out of your misery. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess Elio's trying to think of a better move, right? He's, he's got three yeah. minutes to try and think of a better move, but because like that is the obvious, any any idiot can think of. I dodge with my break tackle and hit him with tackle, and then I dodge and score. Yeah. There might be some super duper big brain play that's better than that, but I imagine there isn't. <laughs> I imagine there isn't, and and, and then and then. Even even once you've even if you do think there isn't a better player than that, you probably still make these two claw palm hits. Well, oh, no, this he is can make this claw palm no. hit first. He actually can chain. Oh no, he can't because of the side step. I was yeah, gonna say because he can block step, all the squares on the side step on the uh, on the edge five, um, with like with the bull dodge blitz into the strength three gutter. He can then move over, and then he can move two players up into those other squares. But it doesn't really doesn't help him because he can't chain the uh he can't chain the storm vermin off of him yeah you just pause chandra you, you yeah. just re-roll and pow like you yeah. have to pow like you have you have to pow then three so it's basically a four three two to score like the power slightly more than a four it's slightly better than a four isn't it slightly like you, ha you have to re-roll you have to pow yeah okay well there you go so that's a bit yeah. shit. So now he's now he's got a four three two without a reroll. Yep. Oh yeah, four uh, four four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, goes. four yeah. four. Yeah. Uh, did he use his break tackle on the first dodge? Oh. But it doesn't help you anyway. No. Oh, you could three. He four, can three, three uh, two two. Yeah, he could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does get out of the way. It doesn't matter though, because it's still like. A... Oh, unless he could dodge they... here and then chain. Nobody's got sidesteps, so he can't chain him that or anywhere. Yeah. So it's still going to be a three, four, three, two. Yeah, just really needed that pal. And yeah, dodge, so it wasn't that bad. Getting through. Little unlucky there for Elliot, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, dodge. So yeah, there was tackle. Yeah, I think that was a bit unlucky. Yeah, very, very, very yeah. much so. Maybe he should have blitzed from the from where he sidestepped to then to stop that, mm -hmm. so that he wouldn't have gone through tackle. So maybe, maybe it was a slight mistake on the blitz square. But like me, he probably just felt he had to roll the pow right, so it didn't matter where he blitzed yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, like that's 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 what I thought. I thought you need the power to score, so it doesn't really matter where you hit from. Right, so Chunt has won a lot, but he's lost three. He's taken three cars, so he's he's is he he's he's down to ten. He is down to ten players. Elliot's still on eleven. 
just got his got his two, got his uh, claw pommer back. So he's back up to two claw pommers. So you know this could be a two one loss thanks to a one turn. <laughs> Because <laughs> eliot has got two really good claw bombers, hasn't he? But these rookies are, are terrible, honestly. Like, it's terrible having chalk blocker rookies, isn't it? Like, you know, if if he had a bit more TV and had uh, had guard, stand firm blockers. He's got one miss next as well, hasn't he? He's only got five blockers total. Two I will be right back. Okay, dear, okay. Yeah, two rookies. So you know he could have easily had three stand firm, and if he's got three stand firm, okay, there is a juggernaut. But still, <laughs> like it helps for the the extra hits and stuff. And he could have just he could have targeted this juggernaut more if he had three stand firm. This is just a team that was uh It it was beat up like during the course of the regular season, generally. I mean, it's not over. It's not over because Chunter can fail the one turn. Also, he has to field the fastest gutter. But obviously, like, sidestep movement 8 with Arch 5 is still a good one turner. <laughs> and move 9 with sidestep is a good one turner. So the sprint sure feat isn't even that much better than the other two anyway. But still, he is, he is probably the best one turner. So. You know, you can target all, all, and even the rookie isn't bad, right? So you can, <laughs> you can target all the gutters, and you can target the storm vermin. Like he's, he's got, he's got no chaff to protect them anymore, has he? So that's the good thing for Chunter, Effort, Elliot, and Elliot still has plenty of chaff. <laughs> he's only really got the two claw pommers and the two bulls. That are worth a damn, whereas Chunter has six players he want like even like it's stupid that even rookie gutters are like really good with one turners, aren't they? And like I guess all that's all that Chunter cares about now is just just lie down and get the one turn. But it's probably yeah, what, how sure. he should play. <laughs> it's Chunter, so you know, everything might get base next turn. <laughs> I mean if he sees an opening he'll probably take it, but yeah, he's not gonna risk his team. You wouldn't think so. Like you would think now, especially with these two removals, he's probably he's probably thinking, "Oh man, didn't do the voice." <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, he's probably going to have to. He's probably going to feel like he has to with, withdraw. I mean, just looking at his setup, he I think he thought that before the removals. Yes. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And now he's lost all three. So, so now even Chunter probably just tries to hide for the whole half, and then. Score his one turner, and then if he doesn't score the one turner, he's still fifty fifty to win the toss and win. Yep. <laughs> so it's pretty hard to beat rats. There you go. The thing is, for like most normal rat teams, not not so much chunters because chunter does have these claw claw might in claw pommers, but most rat teams don't get to outbash people so much, so they end up getting more bashed, don't they? That's the thing. So like they do struggle to win tournaments in in that they'll take get more attrition as the uh as the tournament goes on. And even when they're really good, they're still pretty dicey. Like, you know you know like that's, the, uh, that's pretty insensitive, Sagittarius. On Jim's stream and all, bragging about being able to beat up rats right in front of Jim. <laughs> that's bold, man. That's mean. <laughs> that is Jim really failed to beat up rats. Pretty much every time he's played them. Yep. Yep. Yep, it's true. But yeah, like that is that is their weakness, right? That they 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 over tournaments they do tend to get get more attrition than other teams. Yeah. But in, in an individual game there's no there's obviously no guarantee that you do. But over the course of the tournament they end up not being able to protect key players and, and you know, occasionally getting banged out and stuff. Chorfs or whatever can can really do a number on them sometimes, so they they do end up not going so well. And also, but even when they're good, like you know, the team that beat me when my my wonder high elves that probably should have won Chalice, um, 
and he had two agility six scutters, you know, and like, how do you defend against that? You don't, yeah. you know, and and he rolled a bunch of twos, but he still had to roll a bunch of twos, you know, and like that could have easily not worked out for him, and he would have lost. So like, as much as he was like, you know, there was nothing I could really do to defend against that. Also, he had no like guarantee of it working, did he? You know, he had to get like, he still had to roll those dice. So they're a funny old team. So here's the interesting thing here. Elliot doing the thing you'd expect the Chorf player to do in this situation, put all the pressure on to the team that clearly doesn't want to engage. But at what point does he accidentally overstep and then expose himself? No, oh, he won't. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I mean, I'm not, that's not a comment on Elliot as a player. He's obviously an exceptional player. But, like, it's pretty easy to do against rats in general. Yes, I don't think Elliot will. I think if I was to bet on anybody not doing that, it would be like Christopher and Elliot not doing it, you know? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> like, and not just because he's really good, just the way he plays. Like, there's other really good players that could do that. Um, it wouldn't surprise me as much as Elliot or Chris, but yeah, those those two. I'm Honestly, I'm surprised Elliot didn't put in the dirty player here to make that. You know, even harder at getting on the ball than a. <laughs> is this a, uh, is this is this a is this a bull getting claw bombed here? Uh, or claw might excuse me, claw mighty. I mean, it might get claw bombed, right? Oh yeah, the other one's the claw. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah you can do both actually. Yeah. He could, he could, he could claw mighty this one and then claw bomb this one. Yep. Yep. But then he hasn't got he hasn't got he hasn't got yeah. tackle on this, so maybe he claw bombs this one and then claw mighty's this. Okay, mm -hmm. well. But there's again, there's a lot of engagement, a lot of engagement for the rats just to keep the fight up. Yep. But they can roll dice like this. <laughs> but it's working. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? That's the, the claw yeah. might has been great for a chunk of this game. A very lucky game, and it is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hating on Chunter. <laughs> people get people get upset, don't they? If they, if you, they think they're criticising their favourite player, but uh, he's definitely been lucky with the, the Claw Mighty hits. Have been really lucky. Like they've got to be really lucky. Like Claw Pom doesn't have to get lucky at all, because the odds are insane for Claw Pom. But this Claw Mighty has been rolling like he's got Claw Pom. I don't know that I'd go so far as to say Chunter's a shitter, like you're saying, Jim. But, uh, <laughs> but like, he is getting a bit lucky in this game. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, fucking what's he called? You know, Guinness. Guinness, like, actually <laughs> reported me to, to, the, to the authorities for saying that he was lucky in the World Cup. And, like, I didn't say that he only won because he was luck lucky and he played terrible, but he definitely I mean, got lucky. He, he did, though. <laughs> that is true, that is true, but I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. I didn't say it, but it is true. Yeah, it is true. He was shit, and he only won because he, he he had bloody lizard men and got lucky. But like you know, Ornan got lucky when he won the World Cup. You know, like everyone who won Chalice got lucky this season. They won Chalice because otherwise they wouldn't have won it. Like there's no way you can win Chalice without getting lucky. Like it's obvious. It's it's completely obvious. Like you'd have to come in like them. You'd have to get a lucky draw to have a to have a monumental advantage every match, or like not play a good coach. You know, so like whichever way you do it, you have to be lucky to win Chalice. At, at the end of the day, you can say whatever you want about Guinness because he can just sit back and look at that custom PC tower of perpetual virginity <laughs> that he won and, uh, you know, feel content in how he played in uh, his championship. <laughs> He's he sure can. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine it, like bringing a girl home, hanging out with her, trying to win her over? And then she looks over at your fucking PC tower, and it's a custom Blood Bowl two <laughs> PC tower. She would be out the door so fucking fast. <laughs> oh god, yeah, he'd better hope he's already married. <laughs> he's not. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know. He and I were pro. Uh, were pro gamers together for a oh, while wow. in a Atlas reactor. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's like. But that's the thing. Like, it wasn't saying he was bad, but he he took it to mean, you know, negative. And and people do tend to take it to mean. Negative. They're obviously, lovely three D on the on the gutter here. I expect nothing less from Elliot. In comes the squirrel. Pile on all day, nothing. Diced. Blockless block. Has to reroll it, obviously, if it's one in nine. Isn't. 
<laughs> yeah, cave folk, totally. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, and you can kind of beat one or the other, right? You can you can win if someone's lucky but crap. <laughs> and you can win if they're good but unlucky, but if they're good and lucky you you're absolutely screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I say thanks. It's Guru, the one doing the fantastic casting about the Blood Bowl 2 for <laughs> PC virginity tower. You went, to, you went totally silent. And I was like, oh, I made this either really awkward or he's laughing and muted himself. It's one of the two. <laughs> pretty funny <laughs> the tower of perpetual virginity is a uh, a good line that i did not i definitely did not completely come up with but only j5 knows <laughs> from, so it's fair <laughs> oh you came prepared lovely hit here from chunter two into two clawpom on clawpom puts in the reroll why not these are the biggest hits aren't they clawpom v clawpom and he even gets him into the cage with like you know some kind of pressure that El Elliot wants to worry about the ball a little bit, and he gets cast as well. Oh my god. Badly hurt. This is so bad for Elliot now. Oh my god. He hasn't even taken that much damage, right? But I mean, he has Apo twice. So he has taken four Kaz. And he's made five. So he's only just out bashed Skaven. He could come in to uh to hit there, but then again now it's getting the point where th this is actually a bit of ball pressure, isn't it? Like kind of, you know, like so now he might have to abandon the fight just to try and pray for overtime. I feel like some really, really wise three-time winner just a few minutes ago was talking about how it's easy to lure yourself in <laughs> to exposing the ball, wanting to get into that fight. Yep. And uh, he got shot down by someone who'd never won the SFL. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we shouldn't have taken the original shoot down seriously at all, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> the ball is so oh my god. Oh, no. I still don't think Elliot's going to going to expose the ball. Look, he's still got a perfect cage here. Yeah. Oh my god, he is going to double GFI to hit this guy, though. I mean, he's getting a bit desperate. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what was that about exposing the ball, Jim? <laughs> well, I didn't think this was going to happen, did I? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, I, I agree. You were wrong, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, two dice on the ball. <laughs> it's me. Just right there, too. Uh, too bad he can't get a palm hit on that ball. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Oh, oh boy. Doesn't have any sort of, it doesn't have any sort of edge five recovery anywhere near where the ball would hit the floor, though. No, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, like, how does he do it? This is a this is a 2D, and if, but he's probably not going to power him, which only gets guard on the ball. And then there's so then it would be like a one D against mm. a blodger into an uphill. Or this guy could if he pow if he powed him you know, then he he'd have to dodge him out and then dodge he him. He doesn't have tackle on that on on the frenzy piece there, does he? No. Peace, I said peace, fuck me. Ah. <laughs> so, so it's really not that so the the edge five could move to assist, so then he could he could one he could two D here. And then the edge five can move to assist. Yeah, so he might, he might, he might yeah. So he is, he is using the edge five to assist rather than for recovery. That's what I was thinking. He might have to use the edge five in the ball sack attempt rather than for recovery. Yeah, yeah. I mean, getting the ball on the ground might be good enough in terms of uh, step one of step two of the two part plan to score as rats. Yeah, oh, it's only put one. ball on ground, oh, score he's... next turn. Yes, he's done the one D with that for the tackle. Yeah. So that he gets to hit. Gets the knockdown, brings the guard in. So oh he's... no, but he can't bring the guard in. It's, it's still. No, oh, no, it's no. now. Yeah, yeah. No, he, well, he's got, he's got this. He's, he's got, he's got a defensive assist with following, but it means he's got the gutter for recovery. But um, it means that now it's a one D because he's five versus five. Whereas if he'd done it with the gutter, it would have been yeah. two dice, and it would have been a two into a. 
two and a, mm. two into an uphill. But I guess oh, I guess he could just put in the guard here, right? Yeah, so he's just going to put oh there. So that, this is what I was saying. Yeah, he puts yeah, the guard in, in the there. back. Yeah, because he's moved yeah. nine. So now it's two into two. And he's got no recovery, but obviously he's got four players around the ball. And no recovery. It yeah, might just end really up in good. a gutter's hands anyway. Yeah, this is really good. Oh my god, another armor break. You wanna I mean, uh you wanna you wanna start with the you were right scurrow now or do you wanna wait until after uh <laughs> more turns of uh, exclamation points on that? Yeah, honestly I, I am I am I was wrong because I expected Elliot to move the the ball to here before making the blitz. And, oh, and there he goes. Oh the, uh, the another, hobo's got it. Another way of saying that you were wrong oh man, the hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Another way of saying you were wrong, though, is that Skuro was... Right. There we go. Correct. There we go. <laughs> Crikey. It's pretty, it's pretty much over now, yeah. I'm wicked smart. <laughs> wicked <say>. smart. <laughs> wicked hard. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what the fuck did you do? So, so, so Ch Chunter still has his four good players. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's lost all of the chaff and just has... He's only got five players on the pitch, but he's got his four best ones. Damn straight, K Fuck. <laughs> yeah, Elliot is. Never join the SFL, game. though. It's just, you know, it's. It, it's probably. You've got well. so much on your plate right now, K Fuck. It's not, you know, I, like. While it would be nice to have real competition, don't join the SFL anytime <laughs> soon. We might Chunda not have enough season to you. Did Chunda forget this guy last turn? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was his potato threat for the. <laughs> yeah, like imagine if you bring him up to here, like you know, he can screen with that guy, yeah. right? Maybe he moved him away first. I don't know. How long has that player even been down there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Jeff. Because I didn't remember him getting removed, and I was like, I, was, I just checked because I was thinking, four. He had five good players, so yeah, he's got. He's still got all five good players. <laughs> Imagine scoring in this FL, yeah, Savage. Savage still yet to score in what, three games, I think. In wow. SFL. But hey, at Pop least you've played. Yet. At least you've played three games. It took me. It took me three <laughs> seasons to play three games in the SFL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you score in uh, in your, in either of your first two efforts? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. So you're at least as good as Jimmy, but you know that's not saying a ton. <laughs> no, uh, true. Two more, two more seasons and or half a decade, and uh, you'll be right there with us. Yeah. <laughs> God knows what version of Blood Bowl we'll be playing by then. Yeah, Blood Bowl three might coincide with the end of SFL, mightn't it? Uh, this season of SFL looks <laughs> like it's going to be touch and go. The playoffs, it's gonna be touch playoffs and... usually run a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, I guess so. It's like when you can see that light, you know, when you've like been struck by the bus and you're slowly dying <laughs> and in pain. That's the regular season, but then you see that light at the end of the tunnel and you just want to let go. That's, uh, that's the SFL playoffs. <laughs> yeah, and there's less people and, and the people that are, there, that are left are more enthusiastic, aren't they? Because they're in the playoffs. Whereas now we're having Usually to wait for the people that yeah. have like, got bad records that don't give a shit because the season's over. Well, that's the thing is usually it's the last two to three weeks of uh, of the season are also pretty efficient <laughs> just because of all the concession wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I'm pretty sure last season, the last, I had like three uh, admin games in the to end the season. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying, yeah, that's how you made playoffs, wasn't it? I hadn't, yeah. played, I hadn't played Blood Bowl in four months. I think. <laughs> I literally went to Antarctica and back between between like the mid week the mid season point and entering the playoffs. <laughs> and I hadn't played Blood Bowl. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> I mean, they, they've said February, haven't they? February the twenty third. So we'll see. Is there a hit on the ball? Is he going for the ball? He's gone for a one D. Gets the pow. Of course he does. <laughs> I mean, he was fifty percent, wasn't he? Yep. And he's got leap, so he can leap out and uh, get it, and then pass it to this guy. Who? Oh, he, he's remembered that guy. Okay. Yeah, 
this guy's come up. Maybe he never forgot him, who knows. Maybe you don't even go for the re retrieval, maybe you just bang out this club. No, no. sandwich. <laughs> the ancient pre ice age civilization. Well, he's not going to tell you, is he, Sammage? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine thinking Skuro isn't in the Illuminati himself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <geez. laughs> oh. that's, uh, that's probably uh, probably enough there, though. Yeah. Get the ball well away from Elliot. Yep. Yep, this is this is G. This is over. I'm sure Elliot will be saying in his chat that it's over. <laughs> it's over, it's over. Oh, I mean, he's going to be of he's going to be pretty sad with himself after this one, isn't he? He is, yeah. Even though he's really done nothing wrong, he's just got banged out by fucking yeah. shithead dice rolling yeah. rats. You know, like it's, it's not disparaging. Chunter Chunter did all the right plays, didn't he? Yeah. Did all the right, he maximized all his claw hits and everything. And then when he got the chance, he took it. You know, like thanks to the double skulls, the the double GFI double skulls. But yeah, I guess he'll be kicking himself for that. He's like, I didn't need to do that. I could have just blitz with a bowl, you know, and stuff like that. Probably what he's thinking. But I think it was worth the clopum and clopum hit. Like obviously it did, it did, it did cost him quite like a. I didn't think he was going to do it because it did cost him quite a lot. The fact that he couldn't save the cage before he did it, and it was a double GFI. Good chance of using a reroll. Um, but it's just so good, isn't it? There's so much value that it's it's probably the right play ultimately. Just didn't get the dice, did he? That's what happened, especially versus rats. Like rats are the one where, like, the, if you don't get the dice, you're just fucked. <laughs> Certainly against, good, like, even against bad players, right? My my um, <laughs> my GG toll match. <laughs> I didn't get the I didn't get the dice versus uh, not a very good player at all and lost because rats. But if you don't get the dice versus Chunter, you're definitely losing. Elliot's still battling, but I mean, what's the point? You know, like, he's just gonna <laughs> he's gonna two plus away and pick it up. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna he's gotta try. He, he's not the game technically isn't over yet. Like he can yes. still retrieve and score, but it is we're in miracle territory. Here, yes. so yeah, he exactly. needs a uh, dirty player. Uh, well, that was good. That was good. I was going to say he needs his dirty player to outpace everyone else and get to the ball, but I guess he's probably going for the bull. Yeah, bull. And he does outpace everyone. And yeah, he can that's get true. The bull. I guess you could 1D here and then uh, pom the bull, but um, well, not pom him, mighty blow him. This is splitting hairs, but maybe Chunter actually threw the ball too far. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> a good point. Yeah, that is actually a good point. But now, nah, look, he gets the like, 2D and the 2D. Yeah. Like, he's actually outnumbering the dwarves now, which is stupid, isn't he? he was, he's outnumbering him with movement 9, agility 4 and 5. Days, so <laughs> yeah. When yeah. that happens, you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're going to struggle. Uh, Chunter yeah, didn't, gets him I don't down, think. Eh? He, he up ordered death. He uploaded his strength three got to die. I mean, that, that guy is just badly hurt anyway. But the guy with the million injuries are the ones <laughs> that got, uh, got injured. Yeah. So, yeah, the ones miss next, but not nothing permanent. All right. This is uh, last gas for Elliot here. He can't even get to the ball, can he? No, he can get a scoring threat. Look, he's got his canoring threat. There we go. And then he can. Blitz bull, this gutter blitz. and then bull yeah. base. Clawpom double GFI. Yeah, he can't blitz. even base the ball there, can he? Yeah. No. So Clawpom double GFI blitz, right? Because why not? You know, you've got to get yeah. so insanely lucky, you might as well hit him with Clawpom. Mm hmm. Rather than do the easy play of blitzing with a bull. And then the bull can base. Oh, doesn't get the armor break. That would have been pretty nice. Yeah, I don't really like if, uh, if, uh, assisting with the chore for that reason there, the the hobble for that reason, right? Because the hobble would have been better coming in for the foul. But I guess he can <clears> for the foul anyway. 
I mean, li literally anyone can fell at this point. Yes, that's in the true. Game. Yeah. That is true. He GFI so we can 1D him and power him. Like, that's what he has to do. It's just horrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get the power. And now you can double GFI. Yeah, double GFI foul. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Jesus. This is dire. <laughs> no, it doesn't foul. Them. I mean, all of this is coming down to a long bomb by a bull, but when have we ever seen that beat someone in a game, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not possible. <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only Elliot was playing you. <laughs> Here he goes. Needs the snake here. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not picking up. No, no. He just needs to deal with the bull, doesn't he? But she does. Yeah. And that's GG. Yeah. So I don't think the hobs can uh, even no. get to the ball, can they? No, no. Hob well, the hobble could pick it up, but then do nothing. Yeah. Nothing else. And claw pommer. Bad times in Elliot Town. And he, he does that to stop the gutter getting hit. Yeah. Good day, Cocky. Elliot will will still hit rats here. Everyone hates rats, he doesn't use them. They're annoying that you can do this to them in this. <laughs> you know, cast four, <laughs> KO four. But then they cast five. <laughs> and and the players they had on the field were a little bit better at winning games of Blood Bowl than the ones that Elliot had left on the field. Yeah, that's a thing. I mean, pretty people pretty much hate Chaufs as well, right? Like Chaufs are pretty annoying. They they've got all the tackle to beat the uh, to beat the agility teams. You know, the balls are incredible. They can high roll with claw against bash teams. So people pretty much hate. Uh, Hit Chaufs as well as Cutters. I do feel like you've got more gameplay against Chaufs though. Feels that way. But maybe it's all wrong, you know? Like, it's funny, isn't it? Because Bash teams are like pretty much at the mercy of the dice a lot of the time. If they get out Bash, then they just don't have a lot they can do themselves. It does, like, you know, although we think of Skaven as being dice rolling, because, you know, they, they end up having to make, you know, agility things, don't they? No pills and one Ds and, you know, they go for like riskier, like the ball sacks are riskier than just making two dice blocks every turn, you know. But then two dice blocks every turn are risky in that if you get people cast and stuff, then there's no playing your way out of it, is there? So that is also risky. So it, it's it's interesting. It's certainly not as cut and dried as you would think, uh, like intuitively. This game sure made me not want to play Blood Bowl for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Depressing. And it's two good coaches, you know, like matchups like this are going to happen. But uh, pretty disappointing. Yep. And not even because of the result. Like, Chunter deserves the win. But, like, ugh. <laughs> just mm. ugly. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, and it was fine. Like, it wasn't. It wasn't that unlucky. Like you know, Chunter did roll better than Elliot, obviously, but like it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like a horrendous dicing or anything, was it? Yeah. It just just felt bad think, for Elliot. <laughs> I mean, it's a different game. Again, not, not. I'm not really not trying to meme on the Skuro was right thing, but it is a different game if Elliot ignores the team and takes his free score, right? Like if he if he had not engaged and just gone down the left side of the pitch while Chunter rotated to the right. We'd be going overtime, and then who knows? Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe, or one turn. Maybe. Turned, or he probably just would have gotten one turned on. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That's the thing. So he thinks that's going to happen, so he has to engage a bit. And he could have still yeah. engaged safer. Like, I expected him to engage safer. Like, he did do the double yeah. GFI with a ball exposed. Whereas, mm -hmm. you know, obviously he was very unlucky. But he could have just blitzed with a ball and then uh, and then had a safer ball. And, you know, he'd have, then he would have yeah. only been dub skulls that cost him instead of the GFIs or the dub skulls. So, you know, he, he could have played... And I expected him to play it safer. I did expect him to play it safer. But, I mean, it was such a big hit that he had to go for it. I, yeah. I, I agree that he had to go for it. And it's just just one of those <laughs> the, things. The lighting that Elliot has for his... 
Twitch stream makes it's got like the sad blue. <laughs> <laughs> We're in sad Elliot mode, I guess. That mm -hmm. sucks though. Oh, he's right in with the spin. Hey, good on him. I don't know how anyone can do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I never can... will, never will, and don't care to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I don't understand the people who play a game right before either, you know. But both El and have both played a game like yeah. instantly before it. Which I, I would be more willing to play like a CCL game before a big game just to, just just because I don't care. Like I could, I I don't care if I lose a game of CCL and I could just fuck around in it just to kind of, you know, it's like it's like stretching before before. <laughs> an event but like after a game like that no chance in hell do i want to play another <laughs> game of blood Bowl. yeah there you go right well uh commiserations Eliod. congratulations to chunter thank you very much skuro for coming on and doing the commentary absolutely glorious uh my pleasure thanks uh thanks for having me and uh thank you to all of our thousands of <laughs> Fuck. Panama, Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Costa Rica. <laughs> Costa Rican viewers. This one was for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>